Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be testing out what happens if you fill your whole entire tutorial world with lava. Before we do that though, I have a message from our sponsors. So today's sponsor is Amino. Now Amino is an app that lets you discover, explore, and obsess over things you're into. And recently the Amino app has added in a new Amino stories feature. So let's say if you hop on the app and you're looking specifically for Apex Legends related content, you go ahead and search it by topics and boom tons of apex legends content to watch and look through have you guys ever wondered what the behind the scenes looks like for some of my videos well look no further because i've created my own amino story showing off some of the behind the scenes content go ahead and search the name game raiders 101 and check out my global profile but also make sure to hit that follow button on my profile and boom you can start watching my stories it's as easy as that so if you watch the filling up our whole entire world with water video then you would know that there's multiple ways of about going and doing this but the way I think we're gonna do it is just using Terraria edit or T edit because that is the easiest one to use and the quickest one at the same time because uh, you know is there a pyramid again how come there's pyramids in every world that I generate except for ones that I play through but yeah we're gonna be using a T edit it's the fastest way and uh, let's just hop into T edit so here we are in T edit you know we got our beautiful world right here as you can see the spawn and the guide are right here damn look how close you can zoom in Terraria edit it's really cool like i said in the other video i kind of want to do more things with it we might do more things with it because this this is a really cool system and i just love it look you can even see the dungeon right here zoom in really close you can even see wires and stuff dang that's cool as hell all right it is time to fill up this whole entire world with lava except for right here our little sky island because uh, that's going to be our safe point so let's do it Alright, as you can see, everything is as orange as could be. Okay, maybe not everything, but pretty much 90% of things are filled in 99%. I, I would say like 98% would be a good percentage. But yeah, most of the things are filled in here, except for our little sky island right here, which I had to erase a little square around just in case. Let's hope this works. Maybe I should erase the spawn too. Probably be smart. Let's erase a little bit of the spawn just so I can move. But yeah, that should be good. And uh, let's hop into the world and let's hope it actually loads because this this is a lot to handle all right we are loading up the world right now settling liquids like last time this took a little bit to load so let's see if it even loads at all so in the last video i said that i did stuff with filling in a world with water before but actually i think i did it with lava during a challenge video and my game just crashed when i tried to do it with lava but i also tried to do it with the contaminator from the uh, solutions mod i tried to use the lava filling solution from that mod but yeah let's hope this loads i'm gonna sit here a bit and just hope and pray i guess we are in the world what is going on i'm gonna turn on god mode just so i don't die speak about dying r.i.p luke the guide so look at the map how the lava is kind of just expanding more and more because the map has not updated yet so oh my god it's getting laggy it's getting really laggy it just got super laggy <laughs> i'm running like three frames a second bro i just want to open up the map oh there we go our frames are just magically back I don't know what happened. All right, here goes. Boom. Updated our map. Let's see the map. Oh, yeah. Everything looks like it's just completely dunked in lava. Even the island that's not supposed to be dunked in lava that I erased a lava barrier around is dunked in lava like it's a goddamn Oreo. Come on, bro. Oh, look. There's a little there's a little breather spot right there. But yeah, this just looks bad. Can you, can you guys even see anything? All I see is orange, which I guess is not too bad. I feel like I'd rather see orange than you know the water one. Oh, God. That's, that's too bright. Too bright. Too bright of an orange. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start teleporting around and checking out some of these areas just to see what they're like. Let's start with the dungeon. <laughs> No, because this time we actually filled up the whole entire dungeon. So this door, oh, that door just broke when I opened it. So this dungeon should be filled all the way to the bottom, at least I hope. As you see, there's a couple like air pockets here in there. Dungeon Guardian, that kind of scared me for a second. If you, if you guys watched the Terraria Underhaul video. 
that kind of scared me for a second okay but yeah it's it's exactly what i expected to be all the way filled this is a deep ass dungeon what the hell it starts all the way up here and goes pretty much to hell what the heck is this dungeon what so next up i want to check out the abyss i think is on the right side over here let's go check out the abyss i'm gonna put on this omega core and hopefully i can move fast it's raining apparently i don't think we're gonna see too much rain dropping down on this weather but yeah here we are so free seas this is where water should be right now we're in an area where water should just completely be everywhere but uh oh it's not looking like it you hear that sizzle what's that sizzling what y'all cooking somebody barbecuing what is this that's the sulfurous sand okay i can't really tell oh y'all hear that there's some sizzling going down here. I don't know what it is though. Maybe there's something in the abyss that keeps on spawning water. No, I expected to see a lot of uh, obsidian, but instead of seeing a bunch of obsidian, it's just the tiles, the water tiles kind of just got overrided completely or overridden completely. Oh, ah, that kind of hurt my ears. Oh, there's some obsidian right there. There's some obsidian. Yeah, there's a little bit of obsidian sprinkled around. Tenebris. I love that noise. Keep on playing that noise. I want to keep on going deeper and see if they keep playing that noise. Oh, what the hell was that? I'm scared to go deeper. This shit's getting... Oh my god. This shit's getting scarier every time we go deeper. Actually, we should be at the point where there's no sizzling noises. It's just literally an abyss. Spoke too soon. <laughs> there's so much lava everywhere that it won't let me teleport to a random spot because I think... Oh there we go i was trying to find an open spot and it did find an open spot surprisingly but uh i guess let's go to hell can i, can I even teleport to hell it just wanted me to teleport out. let's go to hell and just see how it's like wow there's a bunch of lava everywhere i never would have expected that here we are in the temple temple expected completely be submerged how would uh fighting the golem even work in here can i just spawn in the golem let's just spawn in the golem see see what happens is he just gonna be burning Kind of, unless that's me somehow hurting him, or I don't know, I can't really tell if I'm being honest. So the fights seem exactly the same. It, I didn't feel a difference at all there. So here's the thing. I don't know if you need a really strong computer to run this. I've always considered my computer strong enough to run most things. And uh, I don't know if this is a thing that requires strength at all. It doesn't seem... How did I, what, how did I end up in here? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, if you try this out, I, I don't know if you need a strong computer at all, if this will crash your game. I am playing with Team Model Loader 64, so keep that in mind. Team Model Loader 64 is being used because last time I tried to do this, I used Team Model Loader, the regular Team Model Loader, and my game just crashed instantly. But uh, I also didn't do it with T-Edit. I tried to do it with just villain, putting lava everywhere with the solutions mod. But here we are in the aquatic depths. There's another area I wanted to check out. The colors are not that beautiful here. It's doing some weird color things right now. You see this? It's like flashing and then they're sizzling. Like, geez, what's going on down here, dude? This is all kinds of bad. Now, I haven't seen a single enemy. Has anyone else noticed that? Is that because I'm wearing... No, I'm not... I don't have a Zen potion on either. So, I'm assuming besides, like, Dungeon Guardian, enemies just don't spawn if there's lava tiles, you know, in the area where they can spawn. Oh! You hear that? You heard that, right? An enemy just died somewhere. I, I don't know what it was. But RIP to that enemy. Uh, this makes me realize that there's not a lot of Terry enemies that just spawn directly in lava. And, uh, you know, I feel like there should be the lava serpent spawn in lava, right? I think if I spam hell, we'll end up in hell. Because uh, it's trying to find an open room for me to teleport, but it's not finding nothing. It looks like room, right? Or is that ash? Oh, that's ash. All right, here we are. The last place I want to check out is the desert. Ooh, frames dropping a little bit. But yeah, I want to check out the desert. And then I want to check out whatever this place is called. <laughs> The, the crystal, the sea crystal bio, uh, biome from Calamity. Because I don't know, I haven't even done anything with this Calamity part. I honestly, recently, I don't even play Calamity that often. Or play through it that often. So excuse me if I don't know every single little thing about it. Ooh, I can't even mine the stuff here. Does that mean I have to kill a certain boss to mine stuff? Probably. But yeah, here we are. Music's still nice. We got some Zelda music playing pretty much. This is what I expected. I know this biome has a lot of water in it too. So we might hear the occasional sizzle happen. But uh, yeah, exactly as I expected it, a world filled with lava. It's gonna feel like a world filled with lava. I know, it's insane. All right, so I wanna do an experiment here, okay? I wanna do an experiment here to round off this episode and let's hope that this experiment works, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna take a contaminator. Boom, got it. And then we're gonna do this, ready? We're gonna take water filling solution. It's somewhere in here, there it is. Water filling solution, okay? I'm gonna take all the accessories that, uh, you know, doubles all the distance and everything and we're gonna just spray this and see if I can, you know, just make a bunch of obsidian or what something is gonna happen i hope but let's do it water plus lava 
Oh my god, it does just make a bunch of obsidian. This is crazy. I'm about to form Pangea, bro. We about to make a new land. Oh my god. Look how far out it goes, too. Jeez. Obsidian is dark as hell, too, so you can't even see nothing. Oh god, look, it's just getting filled. You think the lava can even keep up with it? <laughs> no, the lava can't keep up with it. But look at this. Man, maybe this is like a new type of like... Oh. Maybe I just created a new type of challenge run right here. The Obsidian World Challenge Run. I don't know what the challenge would be. I don't know, leave some Obsidian Challenge just in the comments. You know, give me some descriptions of what this challenge would consist of. Yeah, that's all I wanted to check out. I guess we could check out Honey, you know, using Honey. Damn, that would have been a good uh, segue to a Honey sponsorship. You guys know what Honey is? Damn, if I was sponsored by them, that would be a clean segue into a sponsorship. Yeah, let's try out Honey and see. Yeah, this is exactly what I expected the crispy honey blocks which kind of sound delicious if I'm being honest got my nice little camp out here my camp out is so safe I'm gonna turn off God mode for this outro but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video you should be watching this video while I'm on my uh, Disney slash LA vacation but yeah make sure you guys hit that sub button because 74.8% of people are not subbed and they watch my channel on a daily basis is pretty crazy and also 20.7% is subscribed and then it says 4.5% percent is unknown what, what do you mean unknown it's either you're subbed or not sub what the hell is unknown but yeah i think we just hit 89k too and i think we're gonna hit 90k by the time you guys see this video so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys there may or may not be a sponsorship somewhere in the middle of this video there was a sponsorship hey make sure to download amino link will be in the description and comment section and make sure to follow me on there because i'm gonna be posting some exclusive content there but uh I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video whatever that is or whenever that is probably after i'm back from my vacation